Hello, good people. This is day seven of the 21 days of prayer and fasting. I'm creator Pastor Chester Beeman, and this is Pastor Candace Beeman. And we are just, it's just been a great time uh, to me. I know some people don't like fast and stuff like that, but it's been a great time of revealing and different things that's happening. So uh, what's the day about? Uh, today we're going to be talking about depending on him for everything. But, okay, what, what verse are we doing? We're doing Psalms 121, verse 1 through 3. All right, let's go ahead and do it. I will raise my eyes to the mountains. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Man, uh, just hearing that, it just it's just a re constant reminder of where our help comes from. And uh, day by day, we go through things and guess what we do? We try to handle ourselves. We don't uh, focus on God. We kind of just focus on ourselves or the situation. And it reminds me of a time where I, I just completely forgot who God is. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it and be blunt, not consciously, but unconsciously, because you get uh, so many different things go through your minds and life happens and then you just try to handle things yourself. Yeah. And this remind me of another verse that I love, Matthew 11, 28 to the 30th. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is comfortable and my burden is light. Man, who else has a God that says, hey, bring me your worst and I'll give you my best. Uh, we are not designed to carry certain burdens. So he's telling you that come to me because whatever God gives you and anything come in your life, you can handle. But when you start trying to handle things that you weren't designed to do, that's where the burdens come from. That's where uh, the forgetfulness comes from. That's where the anguish comes from. But now that God clearly said this is from Jesus mouth. Come to me. Give give it to me. Right. That's why it's and, so important to keep staying in prayer, because how else are you going to know what he's supposed to be doing if you're not listening and praying and asking for those wisdom, those key moments in your life where you need help when you're struggling? You hey, got to keep your prayer. Uh, there was some, any moments in your life that you. Oh, yeah, there's plenty. I mean, <laughs> coming coming from a big household as a parent, I mean, I have so many. And, you know, sometimes I have to really think about it and be like, you know what? I just need to pray about this. I need to give it to God. I need to stop worrying about it. I mean, there's been count. I can't even name one because there's so many with how, how many kids I have, you know? Yes, I, I challenge you to remind yourself, like when you pray, say, Lord, remind me of who you are. Because for his burden is light. Like the stuff that he has for you to do is designed for you. He's like, I'm gentle. If you go towards anything else, some people choose drugs. Some people choose um, drinking or anything else but God. But he telling you what burdens I got for you is light. So I just want to tell you to continue on with this fast. It's a great thing. Keep moving. Keep pumping. And this is day seven. Yes. We got how many more days left? Ooh, y'all can do like it. Like 14 we more still days. Got this. Y'all got this. So uh, here at Central Triad Church, we transform lives, produce disciples, and impact the, the world. world. Y'all have a great day.